Hello and welcome to City Scene, a TV program about your city government. And today, we're out at Public Works with some, some great guys who do a lot of work behind the scenes. And I'm sure you're grateful for them. It's the streets guys. We've got Ronnie Donnelly. He's our street master, the street superintendent. How are you, man? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Yourself, Steve? I'm doing well, thanks. Great, I appreciate great. you coming on the show, even sure. for, for a Dallas Cowboys fan. That's not a problem, though. Which aim it, to please. It's a, it's a fun rivalry. Cowboys fan, Redskins fan. We both kind of cheer for the Panthers when they're not playing our teams, right? That's right. That's right. All right. Secretly. That's right. <laughs> we don't tell anyone normally. Your guys, how many guys do you have working on your streets crews? Uh, total, we have about 28 people. 28 guys. So when we start talking about storms, like the ice and the snow that we've had lately, your guys are out there working around the clock, right? We're there. Uh, we had 12 guys that usually work at night, 12 that, 12 that work during the day, usually a 12-hour shift, uh, run the salt brine trucks, sand spreaders, metagraders, plows. We're out there. So, so take me through the process. When, they, when they're talking about storm coming up and say, uh, like tonight, let's pretend tonight we got a storm coming. We actually do have a storm coming tonight. Well, what's your thought process and what do you go through? What do you guys start doing in what order? What are you looking to do? Uh, normally we'll start out, a uh, typical day about 7 a.m. We'll start looking at the forecast and trying to see whether or not we're going to get any rain. What kind of event's going to come first? If it's freezing rain, stuff like that. Uh, you know, if it's a dry condition, we'll brine. You can see these guys back here making our liquid salt that we put out. Uh, Brian actually has two fold. It, it kind of pre-wets if your road is dry. And it kind of gives you a little bit more temperature in your road surfaces uh, that can help you hang on a little bit before you start treating with salt. And that, Brian, that's, that sticks, you, you mentioned pre-wetting, that sticks to the road better than just throwing out some salt right off the bat, right? That's correct. It was actually meant, uh, the brine was actually, was a pre-wetting source instead of calcium chloride, which uh -huh. was expensive. And what they used to do whenever the road was real dry, they put the uh, brine down at, with the salt application so it could stick and hang in there and have a chance to sit on the road before the traffic beat it off. So it was a uh, good invention. I think it's great and it works great. That's great. So you got the brine, then you talk about the sanding and, or the salting, right? That's correct. We'll, uh, we'll brine and give it a chance and, uh, and whenever we start getting some, uh, whatever we're going to get. If it's freezing rain, we'll kind of let it hit. Then we'll put some salt out and let it penetrate down in there. Cause it really is salt. The misconception about salt is it works wonders. Well, it does, but the thing about salt is it has, it just creates a, a barrier in between your road and the ice. It don't really, it, it's not really a magic thing. It has to have time to work. So whenever you, you see us out there, we brine, you think we're not coming back. We're actually giving the salt time to work because it, it needs that time to dissolve and work to keep it from actually sticking to the road. You'll be on a slippery surface, but that's normal. So, but actually underneath it, it's not freezing. It's, it's actually doing its job. So slippery is better than icy slippery by far. Yeah, by far, by far. The worst thing that you can have is, uh, you know, whenever you get humidity changes and things like that, and you get a lot of snow and it just gets packed in before the, the salt has a chance to work. Right. Uh, that's where you get your problems coming in because it's really hard to get break that bond from the ice to the pavement and that's what your salt and brine does for you. And it can't be too cold either because then the salt doesn't work as well. No, uh, once you get down below 20 degrees, uh, you know, your applications, you might as well just stop what you're doing because it's, it's just hope that you get some sunshine on it because <laughs> ain't much else going to work. Now I know a lot of folks, especially in the neighborhoods and the secondary and tertiary roads, that's third level roads for people like me. See, I threw out that tertiary there. There you go. Uh, they don't get the attention right away, but they don't need the attention right away. Tell us your priority list for the kinds of roads that you're looking for to start off treating right away. Our, our major routes are uh, Arlington Boulevard. We'll do Red Banks, um, Hooker Road, Moy Boulevard around the hospital. Uh, our main focus is trying to get people in and out on a, on a major system. Uh, we're trying to give service to all the medical facilities. Uh, all of our EMS, our fire stations, we try to get them open. Anything that the people is going to really need a service out of, we try to look at, at get those arteries open first. Right. Uh, and then that's our primary goal. And then you can move on to the other roads once you know those are, are pretty well taken care of. Let's talk about teamwork though. You've got a great crew, they work around the clock, but when you're talking about getting those fire stations ready to go, there's got to be folks out there clearing the way right around the fire stations. Other public works folks, right? That's correct. Uh, we have buildings and grounds. Those folks do a wonderful job to run uh, the fire stations, keeping the driveways so the trucks can get in and out, personnel going into the fire departments and, and in any government building, they keep the sidewalks clean and stuff for us. They do a good job. They also uh, work great with 
the great system. They do all the uh, transportation stops so the people can actually get up on the sidewalk and wait for the bus without slipping on any ice. They do a great job. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, you know, traffic services, they provide barricade service for us to uh, block off all the hills and stuff. And yeah, the kids gonna get out and have fun. We all did, so uh, you know, no harm in that. No harm, no foul. So they uh, block the roads off for us so we don't have anybody slipping and sliding on the roads. And they do a good job for us. And you're well. talking, for those, the barricades, you're talking mostly about those big hilly areas. So with folks that know that they're on a, on a hill or gonna go near a hill, chances are it's going to be blocked off for a little while. That's correct. And and everybody's accustomed to that. Uh, we, we very seldom get any complaints about that. Matter of fact, they call us and say, hey, you're starting to ice up. Kids <laughs> are getting anxious. When are you going to block the road? So, uh, you know, it's a twofold. We work great with the public out there, and they work great with us. And now it's got to be hard keeping all this equipment going too, right? Uh, it is, and our fleet, our fleet maintenance shop, they do a great job for us. Uh, we come in and, and uh, you know, nothing out there is going to be 100%, so we come in all hours of the night. They keep staff over as well, uh, about the same hours that we work, and sometimes lights go out, spreaders won't work, uh, just a number of things, but they do a great job for us. But see, it's good to know that you guys are out there, even when it's really bad weather, your guys are out there working really hard for the citizens. Even if you can't see the crews, they're out there helping out. We're there. We're there for you. Uh, we help in, in a lot of a lot of different ways. Uh, you can see us out there. We do appreciate it. Thank you much, Ronnie. Not a problem. I'll, let, I'll let you go so you can start treating the roast for tonight's <laughs> All thing. right.